It helps unlock major developments sites both north and south of the river, and we believe would bring or assist in bringing up to 20,000 new jobs to this part of East London. We think that's crucial for the economic growth of this part of London. Uh, west of Tower Bridge, there are 17 fixed road crossings. East of Tower Bridge, there are only two. The river is a major point of severance for communities north and south of the river. Uh, a new, a new road crossing here will do much to, to help both bridge communities but help economic activity grow in this part of town. Rivlin is proposing a fixed crossing in probably a tunnel at Silver Town, and we support that. He's also proposing to replace the current Woolwich Ferry with a new one, but move it slightly further east towards the Galleon Specton area. Uh, the Woolwich, the, a new ferry would cost up to £150 million, pounds, but it has all the problems of the old ferry in terms of subject to the weather, it's off sometimes, the boats need to be maintained, and so on. A fixed crossing at Galleons gives you up to 10 times the capacity. A ferry gives you maybe 250 vehicles an hour. Uh, a, a, a road bridge would give you up to 4,000 vehicles an hour across the river. Uh, that's you know, that's really, re really important. And uh, also it gives you the option of having a public transport link across, across a fixed bridge. So we think that's a much better option in terms of for the money. And that's why we support it. We're actually trying to reduce congestion. At the moment, the Blackwall Tunnel approach north and south of the river is the most congested piece of road in the whole of in the whole of London every day. We're trying to reduce that congestion to so a free movement of goods and services across the river. We think that's crucial for the economic growth of London. I understand some people are just ideologically opposed to all new roads. They need to grow up a bit. It's important that East London gets to grow. London itself will be growing with up to up to an additional million people between now and 2030. We need that capacity to serve the needs of that new population and new businesses here in East London. That's why we need to what did you say the first time? Well, we're opposed to all um, plans for new road crossings or any new crossings for vehicles, and that's because they simply don't work. Um, there are all sorts of claims being made about how these two schemes that are being proposed at the moment would help cut congestion and would help help also with regeneration. But in fact, all the evidence points in absolutely the opposite direction. The last time Blackpool Tunnel was doubled in size from two lanes to four lanes, traffic more than doubled within a year at peak time. So how would another four lanes of traffic help with that? And also the Thames Gateway Bridge had a long public inquiry and that's a scheme where the other crossing that's being proposed is, is, is at. And the, the inspector at the public inquiry basically concluded that that scheme was likely to cause increased congestion. Um, and he also found that it wasn't going to help with regeneration. The claims made by Transport for London didn't stand up. So it, it effectively, everybody knows that when you build new road space like this, you increase traffic levels, new journeys are made that otherwise wouldn't have been. And also the evidence shows that when you do that, increase traffic, congestion in the area around will also increase. These areas... You know, we believe that we speak for the vast majority of residents and certainly businesses. I have a lot to do with businesses in my job. And people are constantly saying to me that they support this campaign and that, I mean, take cab firms, for example, they get incredibly frustrated at the gridlock that there is, as do people who work in East London who live in Greenwich or people who live in East London and work in Greenwich. You know, whichever way people are travelling through the Blackwall Tunnel, something goes wrong in that tunnel, somebody runs out of petrol, an overheight vehicle gets in there and uh, is, is, gets stuck, then actually the whole of South East London, the whole of Greenwich just gets gridlocked and people get... Well, basically, London is going to grow by one point one million by 2031 and it's east and south east london that have got the capacity to take that growth and take that investment and add to the prosperity for our residents and businesses and we believe that it's very important that there are increased crossings on the river here um, too long we have been starved of investment 
and decent transport links. And this is actually our chance to put that right and get better convergence with West London, where people are generally better off, uh, wealthier, in better health and so on. Um, and we basically need that transport infrastructure. I've seen as well,